going to start randoring. Randoring means free practice. It's not a tournament, it's part of your training. Okay, battle each other first, bow. Okay, get your grip. Get your grip, can we cut that? Okay, ready? Hide your man, go. Every sport or activity has a scrimmage, and judo is no different. We call it rondori or free practice, and that's exactly what it is. It's an opportunity for a judoka to have the freedom of action in applying their judo skills. Rondori is training, it's not competition. Coaches should understand this and use rondori as part of the total education of a judo student. This total education includes kata, or structured training, rondori, free practice, mondo, discussion and lecture, and shiai, testing oneself in contest. Introduce rondori so that it enhances the overall training with long-term positive effect for beginners. Each other. Okay, hands up. How's your man? Starting beginners too soon in Rondori inhibits their skill development. Before starting them in Rondori, teach beginners sound basic skills, especially in how to move about the mat using efficient footwork. Beginners are almost always heavy footed and have to learn how to slide across the mat using the suriyashi or sliding foot footwork movement pattern to be lighter on their feet and efficient in their movement. Use Rondori type games and drills as a lead up to starting beginners in Rondori, both in standing and in ground fighting. Actually start beginners in Nawaza Rondori before standing Rondori to develop a willingness to engage with a partner. Never throw beginners in with experienced students to be training fodder. Experienced students must always work with beginners, not beat them up. We're going to start Rondori. Rondori means free practice. It's not a tournament, it's part of your training. The idea is, I want to... Uh, we start standing up. The idea is I'm going to try to throw my partner, and if I do throw him, I'm going to continue on the ground and maybe pin him and try to choke or an arm lock. You know, go, go, just, you know, work on the ground as well. Okay, okay we're going to do start rondori two levels. You know, this is the first time you're going to be actually doing rondori, so I want to start you out uh, kind of right. Okay, remember some things when you do rondori. So Jake and I start. We always battle each other. Okay, now normally we'd be working fighting for a grip to get the better grip on each other, to get the edge on. But to start out, I want to start you where we just go ahead and both take a, a kumikata lapel and sleeve grip. Remember when you grip? Between the elbow and the shoulder up here on the lapel, okay? And, and I'll say hajime, which means start. So it'll look like this. Okay, we bow each other, okay, go ahead and grip up, okay, and the coach will say hajime, it means to start. Start beginners in Rondori with them holding on to each other with Kumikata. Do this for two primary reasons. Number one, by holding on to each other, they have to engage with each other and are far less likely to use their hands to bat away at each other to avoid contact. Number two, starting by gripping each other with Kumikata is a not so subtle way for beginners to realize that by holding on to each other, they can attack and defend more freely and effectively. They begin to understand from their very first experience in Rondori that an effective grip leads to effective movement and this leads to effective judo. And then we'll, I'll try to throw him, he'll try to throw me. What you don't want to do in Rondori is back away and try to avoid being thrown. You want to engage. You want to lead with your hips. And when you lead with your hips, it means your foot's right under it. So you're in a position you can try to throw him. You know, doing the, you know, like, you know, like you know, Sogari or Sonagi. You know, and he's going to try to stop you. He'll try to stop you. You know, but, you know, it's, 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 it's competitive to a degree. It's, it's kind of training for competitive style judo, but it's, it's good practice. It's free practice. We've been doing a lot of things in drilling so far, but now we're going to open it up a little bit and do this rondori. It's free practice. And you, some of you have a, a you know, like, I like doing ogoshi. Or I like doing soinagi. I like doing osodagari. Now is the time you can really try to work those throws in that you like to do best. You know, try them on on your opponent who is resisting, and we'll try to do a throw on you. And again, when you go to the ground, follow through, try to pin them, okay? All right, so we'll start with this rondori, and then when we're done, we say, you know, I'll well, say bante, you know, means to break or to you know, stop action. And, okay, we'll bow and we'll shake hands, okay? So we'll start like this, we'll bow to each other. Okay, we'll go ahead and grip, and we'll say, how's your name? We'll start that way. That's, we'll start that first. 
Then later, we would, we would do bow, and how do you know? We start from here. We don't necessarily wait to grip each other. Okay, but to start, I want you to get to start. And remember, don't bend over. Lead with your hips and be very, very aggressive. Try to throw them. Okay? All right, so get your partner in. We're going to run it. How we start? We'll start the same direction. Jake will be here, I'll be here facing the window, and we'll be ready to start like this. So everybody line up along here, kind of like we are. Facing each other. Okay, bow to each other. Okay, get your grip. Come in contact. Get your grip. Okay. How's your man? Go. Now this round, we just did where we started one door where we bowed and we got a grip to start. We started that, okay, this introductory. Now normally, from here on out, you're going to, as soon as you bow, step four hands up, and your hands are up like you're looking through a, you know, a, a screen. You know, that's it. That hands up. Now, what you don't want to do is start reaching for him like this because do this, he just turned around and he helped the body slam me. Oh my God. So, we now you bow, hands up, and start. And now we can start working for a better grip. I'm just trying to get a better grip. And you want to manipulate him, you know, with his jacket as best you can, okay? Uh, if you get the kind of grip you like, uh, for like, you know, I like setting an so I'm going to try to get, I'm gonna try to get my grip so I, can, so I can get my setting on you, so I can come in and hit my setting on you, you know. And he might have another grip, he likes to try something different. So it's part of the, part of the door we do for the grip, okay? All right, let's go about a minute or so. So it'll look like this. We'll start, okay? And we start working. And, and he may try to grab, I'll try to push him away to get that grip. And he'll try to get that grip on me and we'll try to keep working, okay? And when we're done, so let's roll, we'll do about a minute or so. We're done. Fix our knees, right? Bow, and we shake hands, and we're done, okay? All right. So let's, uh, I'm going to pick some people. After just a few rounds of starting Rondori with a kumikata grip, the beginners will feel comfortable gripping the judo gi and using it to manipulate and control their partners. Now is the time to progress to the next level and start Rondori where they must fight for the dominant grip. From this point on, the coach should teach the different grip fighting skills, showing how the grip controls movement and is used as part of the throwing technique. Now that the beginners have started Rondori, they progress to a new level and are on their way to learning more about judo. Each other. Okay, hands up. How's your man? Yeah. 